guys, so I know I haven't done a video in a long time, but my husband and I have been staying in this hotel for like three days, and I figured I'd do a hotel review. Now this is a military hotel, so if you are not military and you don't have anyone in your family that's military, you're not going to be able to stay here. But if you are military or have someone who's military in your family who can get you into this hotel, it's actually really, really nice. We're staying at the Navy Gateway Inns and Suites on JBAB. Well, officially, it's Joint Base Anacostia Bowling, but everybody who lives here just calls it JBAB. And it's a pretty decent sized room. This is the standard room, so it's only like $65 a night. And we have two closets that have a lot of room. And each closet basically looks identical. But you have like tons of shelving and things like that, so there's tons of places to put your clothes and things like that. And this other closet looks exactly the same, so there's no point in showing you both of them so you can see all of the dirty clothes and stuff that's in there, because that's not fun. It also comes with a microwave and a fridge and a little dresser, which is like covered in our snacks and stuff. And then you get a chair and two nightstands, a pretty decent sized bed. And the cool thing is, is it was really cold the first night we got here. And I did not know that there was a blanket in the closet, but if you get cold, there's actually, um, I think it's like an electric blanket or something in the closet. The TV's kind of small. Um, there's, there's never really anything on. I don't know who they go for with cable, but this is like the first thing that's been on since we've gotten here. And then they give you like a little desk and a little chair and things like that. And then you get a bathroom. Now, if you get the... If you get the regular room, like the cheapest room that they have, you have to share a bathroom with someone else. But if you just get the regular room, then your bathroom looks like this. There's a little cabinet above the toilet where you can put like all your stuff. And then they have a good sink and a mirror and a hair dryer and things like that. And the shower is kind of funny for me because I got, I couldn't figure out like how to turn the water on. So we actually spilled water like all over the floor the first time I tried to take a shower. But it's pretty decent size. And then they also have they also have um, amenities on the property, like you know, they have snack machines and they actually have a washer and dryer where you can do your laundry and they don't charge you. At least not at this one. They just have you bring your own soap. And you know, the internet here is free, so you don't have to worry about like paying or anything like that. So, all in all, I would rate this at least a 5 out of 5. Um, I do like the one that we stayed in in Las Vegas better because I just, I thought that was a nicer base and the room was like way bigger. And they had way more, um, they had way more of the like the soaps and the lotions and stuff like that. Um, they offered like, at the other one they offered like three different types of lotion, two different types of face bars like two different types of shampoo and stuff like that. Here they just offer one. But it's still really nice, especially, you know, if you just need a cup, like if you need a place to crash, you know, for a few days. So like I said, I would give this a five out of five. I really hope you guys like this review and I'll see you guys later.